Center. I'm Victoria Parker, curator here at the Fenton. Behind me is one of our really cool artifacts um, on display all the time in the basement. Uh, this is the Gamewell Fire Alarm. This was used in Jamestown from the 1870s until about the 1970s, actually. Uh, the base, this cabinet, was made by Art Metal Manufacturing Company in Jamestown. Uh, but the whole thing served as the fire alarm system. So now, when there's an emergency, we pick up the phone and dial 911, and the dispatcher sends out the message and gets the fire department to the emergency. Well, this was before telephones were common. So there was a box on every street corner in Jamestown uh, with an alarm. If your house caught on fire, you would run as fast as you could to the corner, to the alarm box, and pull the handle. Uh, once that handle was pulled, it activated this piece of machinery. Uh, this was in the office in City Hall. Each one of these uh, things has a number on the other side of it, and when you activated it, those would go off in a certain pattern uh, to type out a three-digit number. That number was on the box on your corner. And this told the fireman where to go. So somebody was in the room with the fire alarm, they saw the code and they would send somebody to that box. Now that didn't necessarily send them right to the fire, so hopefully when they got there, either they could see it or somebody had stayed there to tell them where to go and they would instruct them to get there and put the fire out. Uh, so this is so one of our really cool piece of machinery and the uh, it's on a metal cabinet. This part piece and the base of the machine are marble, uh, so is the base of the cabinet. And um, so it's very heavy, uh, very nicely built, nicely constructed, and it is on display here all the time. It's very heavy. Um, see in the mirror behind there, you can see the numbers on the um, in the mirror because we can't, we couldn't put it where we could get behind it. Um, now the Fenton History Center is currently closed due to the restrictions we're all under, uh, but we're hoping to be back open soon. Uh, in the meantime, the Fenton History Center accepts monetary donations on our website, FentonHistoryCenter.org, and we are adding new things to the website and to Facebook all the time. So keep an eye out, uh, keep sharing our videos, liking them, and sharing and liking our uh, photos, and uh, keep in touch. Uh, on the website, there's a brand new page called the Kids Corner under the Education tab with downloadable, printable activities for kids. So while we're all stuck at home, you can be still learning about Jamestown history and teaching your kids about Jamestown's history. And we hope to see you once all the restrictions are lifted and everything goes back to normal. Uh, we ask that you keep your artifact donations until that time. And we are still working on some research requests and um, things like that. Uh, those are limited, obviously, due to the restrictions. So uh, send us an email and we will get back to you as soon as we can. And we hope to see everyone as soon as everything's back to normal. Thanks for watching.